everybody. Let me get to this other page. I need to, let's see. Please come on in and share. Got to clear the air a little bit this morning, and then we're going to have a fabulous rest of the day. I just want to clear the air on here. Please share this if you don't mind. Hello, how's everybody today? Happy Wednesday. Uh, and I'm going to share this to my big, my other page real quick here. Hello, everybody. I'm not, not getting any comments. Do you see the comments? Are you there? Hello, everybody. Let me share this to this other page. There we go. Now it's coming. Yes, I'm going to talk about um, what's been going on in the last few days. How's everybody doing? I want to clear the air. I'm not going to be on here a very long time, so please share. Um, I want to do some little clarification. we got to do that from time to time. Hello, Penny. Hello, Monica. Please share. Hey, Susie. <coughs> hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. I want to go ahead and start talking. Hey, Katie. Hey, everybody. So, um... Uh, I was at this church a few, maybe, oh man, maybe in August, I don't know, and I was I was a part of a cult, David, I was dating David um, Taylor, and um, I promoted David. So David went there in October, and I was there promoting, I promoted the face-to-face -face movement for uh, 16 months, y'all. I was all in, had no idea of the, of the corruption, had no idea of the women, and the list is, goes on and on and on. So... I was at this church, and of course, I promoted it, okay? Even when David came in October, I promoted it. I was there. I was with David. Uh, we came in different if different um, forms of getting to that ministry, but we were there in Natchez, Mississippi in October. And of course, he was one, that was one night. It was a healing night. Well, that night, I and I've already confessed all this. That night, uh, David checked out of the hotel that the ministry had put him in in Natchez and went up down the street to the Holiday Inn because there wasn't that many people, there was too many people at that hotel, he said. And I have posted the text. He had said, Vicki, um, tell Dan, the Daniel Taylor the room number 316. Three, and that night in Natchez, Mississippi, I was with David. Stayed there. That next day, we both went to New Orleans and spent three days in New Orleans. Yes, it was, it was I shouldn't have done it. It was wrong. So when all this came out, I noticed the day, a couple of days after I confessed everything in de into December, I had hundreds, y'all, of, of, of texts from pastors and ministers, and, and then I went back through them about maybe four, three or four days ago, and I noticed I had one from, from Bishop Searcy from Natchez, and then at the same time, all these people were telling me that David was going back to Natchez. Well, of course, you know, I've known Bishop Searcy for a few years. I found out now that he is not my friend. I thought he was a friend. Uh, I poured my heart out to him on the phone, um, was it yet? maybe the day before yesterday, yeah. cried, wept told him, listen, you better watch your people, your people in Natchez, your single women, your your married people. He's destroyed so many families and so many marriages. And, and he's, you know, when I came out, uh, as to date, it's close to, like, right at 43 women that he has, um, I, I told him everything, even some things I haven't told publicly. And he said, Vicki, I believe you 100%. I believe you 100%. And he was, but then he started saying stuff, you know, he started talking about Earl Polk. And if you know from the Earl Polk era, Earl Polk had, it was, it was a big mess back there. Well, this bishop is from the Earl Polk uh, era, which I had no idea till he told me on that phone. He told me on the phone that, well, you know, I help, I help this, this person and, you know, I try to help. And so hang on. So that's why he is justifying David sinning. He's justifying David coming to Natchez because guess what? That's that. If you know anything about Earl Polk, he's God bless, rest his soul. He's dead now, but that was a that was a that was a mess. Earl Polk. I mean, women. I mean, pastors would come to the church and they'd be in the back, and the pat and the, and Earl Polk would ask them if they like to have a woman that night, and then all line up, and the women would line up, and then all go. It, it was a mess. Well, this pastor is from that era. He's from that that group. So that is why he's okay with David. He's okay with David sleeping with when he was with me, having forty one women breaking their heart and breaking them. This pastor is okay with it. He's okay with all of that. And so I sent out a warning to Natchez, Mississippi, all you pastors, you need to make sure your saints do not go to that meeting. 
You need to make sure this man is wicked. We've got to stop him. And so we were, um, there's some people that are, are, are wanting to go to Natchez tonight and tomorrow night. If you live in that area, you need to go there. You need to be there. You need to, I think you should go there. You should say something. You should go over there with a sign. You should fight for your area. This is demonic. This man is a warlock. I'm sounding the alarm for Natchez, Mississippi. Sounding the alarm that you have a warlock. He might have already landed in your, your area. In Jackson, he's probably driving up to you. You have a warlock. He is a witch. His, he has a woman that is with him. Uh, Michelle is a, um, a witch. And she's the one that would tell all the women that David loved them. So she, she's still doing it. Okay, they got this thing where they'll look you up on the internet. And they'll see if, um, if you have money. And they will, they will hound you. If you, you know, if you get them uh, on the internet off his minions, they're asking you for money. They'll, they'll ask you for your prayer request. And they'll act like they'll keep you on the phone for 40 minutes. That's the trick. The longer they keep you on your phone, they wear you down. So that he, David told me this. He said, one thing that we do, I tell my people, keep people on the phone at least 40 minutes. At least 40 minutes. I keep them on the phone 40 minutes. And you know what that does? That wears them down. That wears the resistance down so they get money out of people. So it's a big scam. And uh, Bishop Searcy has fallen for the... The thing about it is, and, and, and I even text him this morning, which he's not responding to me. But that you have, I fell for the, the humility. You know the false humility that David has, that false humility. And so I fell for that false humility. Uh, I thought that he was a humble man. He's not a humble man. It, it's, it's a facade and it's a front. And you'll get, you'll get hurt down the line, which I did 16 months later. I'm not lying. Why would I, why would I, uh, I want Natchez, Mississippi to miss out on something that's amazing if it was amazing. Now, your gifts and callings are without repentance. When I was there with him, there was healings that took place. So I think that pastor is remembering that healings that, that, take, that took place. So I'm just telling you, um, I wanted to get on here. I, I don't, you know, they're playing old stuff. All that stuff is old. Why would I, why would I, um, uh, I mean, I was in it. I was, I said all that. I, I, I said, I, I mean, they're posting something that I, y'all know I was in it. I told you December 22nd. God began to reveal everything to me, open, begin to open all kinds of stuff about this guy and the ministry. It's a facade. It's a sham. The, the, the ministry, people are leaving the ministry every day. Churches. He was supposed to be in Australia for True Crusades. They inbox me. Vicky, we're canceled. Well, he'll tell everybody, well, you know, God told me to focus on America. Let me tell you something. What is interesting to, let me, I want you all to hear this real quick. I was promoting his movement for 16 months. I could not get anybody to have him. Not one church. Not one church except this church in Natchez was the only one that said yes in 16 months. I tried Paula White's church. I tried every church you can imagine to try to get this man in. They would. They said no. They would not. They did not want him there. They didn't. Really, nobody told me. That's what kind of frustrated me. Nobody told me why they didn't want David at their church. But for 16 months, I have influence. Okay, a lot of you joined the movement. Now you're out. Thank you, Jesus. Because, but I asked. I tried every, I even tried Darling Bishop, people didn't even have, what, he came to the, the ministry. Nobody, they did not want him. This was the only church, only church in 16 months that said, yeah, we'll have him. But you know why? I thought, I figured it out because it's familiar spirits. Birds of a feather flock together. If you got an issue, see, you can't confront a spirit that you have. If you have a spirit of womanizing, if you've got a spirit of, of whatever, of the same thing, you can't say, you know what, I, you better not come to our ministry because, you know, Vicky said you did this. And that. But if you're dealing with those same demons, you're, gonna, you're, you're not, there's no way. So I totally get why he's not canceling David. I, I understand it, but I wanted to come out and uh, just do a video because they, post, they did this. I wasn't going to do this. I was not going to come live, but they posted that on their Facebook page of me when I was in the cult when I was deceived by David, when I thought David was my, going to be my husband, when he told me that I was going to be his wife, when he told me that we had a future together, all of that was at that point. So I just want to get on here and tell you guys, if you live in Natchez, and I'll probably get on here later tonight, we're, we're going to be on with Hank on Hank's page, but I'm going to continue to um, warn uh, people in Natchez, um, I don't know what he's saying. Get ready. Did you see that? Some of that stuff that they're saying. Yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea, Brianna. I'm going to put myself in harm. What you talking about? I am, honey, I'm speaking truth. I'm 
clearing the air. I'm clearing the air. You guys know I'm bold. I, I'm bold. Where's he at? I'm getting rid of some of these people. Bye bye. Yeah, John Holden's gone. Did you block him? You did. I didn't block him. Did you hit him? Somebody else got him. We got some blockers going on. So, um, yeah. So, David E. Taylor is going to be there tonight, tomorrow night, and Friday night. And let me just say, don't get confused with the gift. You know, your gifts and callings without repentance. Did you know a psychic can give you your address? A psychic can give you your phone number? I'm just telling you something. Just because he does walks in those gifts does not mean he's upright before God, okay? You know, let me just tell you something. I, no, no. I have facts. I have, I have all kinds of stuff. So, I, I was not, again, I was not going to get on here and do this. But they had to post a picture, a, a video. And you can go to their um, page. I post on my Facebook and you can comment. When I was in the cult, of course, duh, when you're in a cult, you don't know you're in a cult. So I, it, it's okay that they posted that. That's what, that's what the Jay and I have been doing. They've been posting stuff when I was in the cult. Doesn't even make sense. When you're in a cult, of course, you're going to, I believed in it. I, I promoted it. But I was blinded. Once I was blind, but now I see. And I'm sounding the alarm. I'm letting everybody know that, you know what? See, no, I didn't hear it. Everybody kept it from me. Nobody inboxed me and said, said, Vicky, he's womanizing. No, they, they would say stuff, other things, but they never said that, okay? We need to boost this post in Natchez, absolutely. Sean Vaughn, show me how to do that. I don't know how to do that. I want to do that. I want to boost it in Natchez. All you guys, boost your stuff in Natchez. Let's get, Natchez needs to wake up. They need to know that a warlock is about to hit their city. He's demonic. He, he, it's, I can't tell you everything. And we need to we need to sound the alarm. Yes. Yes. He's a woman. I, and, and for a pastor to want, when I warned this pastor, I thought, this is what I'm going to tell you something. I thought that pastor was my friend. I thought when I told him what, this, what had been done to me and what's been done to all you women, that he's done all this to all his spiritual daughters, I thought this pastor would say, you know what, Vicki, I'm going to stand for righteousness. I'm going to stand with you. But he was never my friend. I guess he just used me, my, my, my talent to sing in this church. But now I know he was never my friend because when I poured, I cried like, I cried. I, I, I mean, I was, I was broken talking to him. I was pleading for your city. I was pleading for your church. Those of you that go to that church, you need to take a look, another look at where you're attending. This is ridiculous. For a pastor to know what's going on, Google the man. Google. You know what? In the next three days, I'm going to have videos of women that David has deceived on here. I'm, they're making them right now. And, you know, this, 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 he calls himself a bishop, but I can't call him that anymore. Stanley, seriously, I'm sorry, but you are wrong. And you know what? Everything that's not of Jesus will come down and will be exposed. So, um, it's, what is the name of that church? It's, they have a new name, but it was called New Hope. New Hope. Okay. New Hope. Okay, if I okay, I'll spend fifty dollars and it'll hit every timeline in Natchez. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spend fifty dollars and it'll hit every. Absolutely, I'm gonna do it with this live. If I spend fifty dollars, I'm gonna do that. Thank you, Shane. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spend fifty dollars on this and I'm gonna have this particular live hit every every timeline in Natchez because they need to know. They need to know that the video about David, but also they need to know that the video that they're posting was before, I mean, come on, why would I be, you know, why would I be, um, uh, talking, uh, the, you know, all the stuff about David now, and then saying that stuff, it doesn't even make sense, they're grabbing, they're grabbing, they're trying to find something, because you know what that pastor told me, he told me on the phone the other day, he said, I've never canceled anybody in all my ministry, I've never canceled anybody, and I'm not going to cancel him, I've just, that's just something I've never done, I said, he said, one time Mark Sharona came and he said, nobody's canceled me. And I'm just not going to, I just don't do that. Can you believe it? Your shepherd, your shepherd is more concerned about his track record of not canceling anybody and going to have that wicked person on your platform in Natchez, Mississippi. I'm sounding the alarm and I'm not stopping. And so I want you guys to help me spread the word. If you wouldn't mind sharing this time, this, this Facebook live, you don't have to share everything I post, okay? I'm, I understand I'm, I'm overboard with this, but I'm trying to get the message out. But if you would do me a favor, please share this, this, because somebody, one of your friends may know somebody in Natchez. I have 1.4 million on my fan page. If, if just 
a fourth of you guys would share this or the or fourth of you there's 270 watching right now if a fourth of you would share this we're sounding the alarm i could get um okay yes i thank you christopher i want to boost this video let's get this on let's get this on youtube let's get this video uh let's get this video out there we need to, to I, I love natchez mississippi i love that city i've been there before just to chill out not even diminish it's a great city they do not need this demo the demonic spirit is coming he's going to be there but they need to know yes yeah yeah exactly they need to know what's about to hit their city now it's, it's going to look let me just tell you all something what's what's crazy and it's, it's about the about the devil is he's, it's going to come. He's going to come so humble. Well, I'm so humble. Oh, and, and you know, that's how he's with that pastor. Trust me, that's his, that's his whole thing. But it's wicked. And he, uh, no doubt, no doubt, they'll be, he'll be talking about me in the pulpit, which, listen, it's okay. He, he's, he's lied so much about me. He's going to tell everybody I'm on drugs and, and, um, uh, he's going to tell everybody that I cuss a lot. And he's the one that says, you know what he says. So, but I'm, I'm not even going to watch it. I have no desire to watch anything the man says. But I wanted to get on here this morning and ask you guys if you would please share this. Because this is such a sad situation that a pastor does not care about his sheep, does not care about the marriages in his church. Let me tell you something. This man will go to their church page and will get people from the church page. That's how they do. That's how he does. All those people from the church, he'll look for pretty women, he'll look for couples. He will... No doubt there will be people in this church and this pastor will live to the regret what he's doing. There will be women in this church that this man will end up sleeping with. Marriages that this man will end up destroying by coming to Natchez. I'm sounding the alarm. I'm sounding the alarm loud. And I'm going to make sure this is on every timeline yeah. in Natchez, Mississippi. Okay? Yeah, oh, yes. Someone came out of JMMI recently because of somebody sharing. So share, share, share. His name is David E. Taylor. You can Google him. He, you know, you can watch a deposition where he, listen, he needs to be stopped. And I'm on, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. We have mess, messaged the church. They'll, they'll take your comment off, but just go ahead and they might block you. But please go ahead and uh, reach out to that church. Um, they don't have a TV station there in Natchez. They do have a newspaper. So, um, uh, in I've, I've I've put the number of the newspaper. It's called the the Natchez Democrat, and I, I'm I'm reaching out to them today um, for a story because they Natchez needs to be warned. Uh, if you are a if you are uh, live in Natchez and you go to a church in Natchez other than this church, I need to speak with your pastor. So if you could have your pastor inbox me, or you could give me uh, ways I can reach your pastor. If you do not go to this church, but you go to another church in Natchez. I need to speak with your pastor, ASAP. I've got a lot of pastors already reaching out to me. They're very concerned about what's going on there. And, um, you know, it's, it's what is done is done. I mean, he'll be there for three nights and there'll be some miracles. Because you know what? Your faith is what makes you whole. David E. Taylor didn't heal anybody. If you come there, you're gonna, it's just, he's just a man. So don't get that twisted. Well, you know, there was miracles. There was signs. There was wonders. Listen, that's Jesus. That's, not, that's the problem with this movement. They have their eyes on David E. Taylor. So... Ladies, exactly. Heart, okay, I gotta get rid of. Mm -hmm. No, ain't no bad, huh? No. Okay, yeah, we're watching. We got we got black ministry going. How did he fool me? Well, he did fool me. He's a very he seduced me, and I I and I'm not gonna go into all of that. Somebody said how did how did he? Uh, yeah, he does have a lot of those too, where he has you know all those crutches and those. Uh, came they all they they get those from the nursing home and stuff at, up at his ministry so i'm sounding the alarm hello mo rankin from london i see you joining you want to want to start watch this from the beginning because i have some information okay god bless you guys have a great day we'll be back on 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 hank's page for worship tonight eight o'clock central um you guys are amazing just stand, we gotta stand for righteousness we gotta stand for righteousness we gotta sound the alarm we gotta stop this Yes, Anthony. We, Anthony, they they're being full. And of course, that's their pastor. They're pa they're going to say, well, my pastor. But listen, their pastor is highly mistaken. I have talked with the pastor. I cry. He told me he believed everything I said. Can you believe this, y'all? He told me I believe everything you say. But I'm going to go ahead and have him because I think I can help him. 
So let's see if he can help them. But you know what? It's going to be all, it's already twisted. They're already posting pictures of when I was, a video when I was there, when I was in the cult. Of course, tonight they'll give David his liberty to talk about me. Uh, so the, the pastor is already bamboozled. The pastor is already under the spell that David has. I was under that spell. We just have to pray for that pastor, okay? All right. God bless you guys. We'll be back on here. I'll share it from um, Hank's page uh, tonight at 8 o'clock Central. We'll, we'll have some worship, okay? All right. God bless. <laughs>